M0FXP, welcome to my channel. An interesting one for using the D75 as a digipeter with an FT5. Now I've made a, a previous video, which I'll put in the description, of how to set, set up the Kenwood 75 as a digipeter. So imagine this on a hill, repeating everything you're sending to it to, to improve the coverage of the area. Well, that's what it can do. That's, that's the new feature of the 75. Okay, now I set up the FT5 in the normal way of setting up APRS, but it didn't work. And there was a reason, because if you hold down the F menu, go to APRS, and then go to the DigiPath, you can't type in the values, they're preset in the manual, preset in the radio. And unless you're using wide one stroke one, the Kenwood won't retransmit. So wide one stroke one, I now know is P2. And I'm gonna show you the chart on the, on the Yesu instruction manual. So here it is here, see? So you'll see that same menu, P1 off. Then you've got P2, yeah, is wide one, P3, is wide one dash one stroke two and wide two are fixed values. Then you've got relay method EC can be entered for P for entered for P4, P8, and then there's a setup process for that. And the way you set those addresses, not that we're going to use them, but let's say you go to P4, then you hit the F button, it takes you back and you can start now entering addresses. This is something I've never done, you know, wide one, wide two. So you can manually enter them, but they've just preset one and two for you to make it a lot easier. So I'll leave it on two and then we'll go back and then we'll just show it retransmitting and then we'll end the video. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, F menu. There's your retransmission and we'll, we'll show you the 74 going via the 75 as well. All going back and forth. So we've got our D75 Digipeter working great.